instead of like, you know, saw, saw, sawing on his face, that I can feel like as I bridge my reins and I wanna make sure they're short enough, all of a sudden now, I get a little bit more steady in my upper body. And if I wanna use my rein, I can a little bit use my right shoulder back, right shoulder back, or my left shoulder back, or my right, right, and I can spin in. But that I get a little bit closer to this feeling of being able to ride in the reins in one hand, which is of course, you know, we needed this one, you know, back in the old days, you know, to like, you know, carry our sword. We're a little bit far away from that <laughs> in, today's, in today's work. I'll change direction. And of course, you know, I want the horse to feel, come on, good boy. I want the horse to feel that, again, I am grounded, I am open in my chest, I am grounded. Now he starts to nod down, you can see that, right? So this is another way to help him. And instead of being reactive, I wanna just kind of ride what I want him to be doing, right? So there again, I'm just gonna bridge my reins and you can see how then stable they become. And I can, you know, give them both, you know, but it's really this feeling of like, as I bridge my reins and I can feel my push pop, push pop, push pop, up, up, does the canter, do I allow my spine through my fascia to move like up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down? Can I let the spine lift my helmet up, 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 up? You know, and checking that he's really being carried by my energy and my intention and not by my reins. And as I can bridge my hands, I can deepen my elbow so you can see him change there. Good boy, good boy. Good job. And then again, I can roll it again forward by raising my chest up, allowing space through my spine. But this stabilizing hand can be extremely powerful to become neutral in the contact. You know, sometimes we do it with young horses, you know, that are strong and we can just bridge the reins at the wither, but I like this feeling, even with my older horses, to check, like, can I just feel the rings on both sides of the bit? And can I stabilize my hand? And what does that do to my collarbones? And my, you know, again, so the feeling can be, I can again ride him, you know, with, with one rein. Mm -hmm.